firing signal. Friendship 7 awaits its pilot. T minus 30 seconds and counting. And the pilot has waited three years for this day. Three long, arduous years of study, of training, of waiting. Ten, nine. And now he's ready. His name is John Glenn. Major John Glenn. Space pioneer John Glenn. Godspeed, John Glenn. Well, first orbit around, you're just sort of ooing and aahing at everything that you're up there, and you're going about five miles a second. And so it doesn't take very long to get across the Atlantic and across Africa, and then uh, it was when they started to get into the terminator of the light and going on the night side. And uh, you could see the moon that night, and it was just a great experience all the way. It was good from another way, too, not only that we had made some advances and we were proud of that, but people really got a, it was, the patriotic feeling and the flags and the kids and and uh, things like that. It was a very moving, it was very, very moving experience. And see just thousands, hundreds of thousands of flags and kids and everybody excited about the country and that was very moving. I don't have anything that matches being part of a team that's devoted to its purpose and you're there with a group of people all trained and all working toward that same end. There's nothing beats that kind of a feeling. You have a certain mission, it's important for the country, and you're working with a team that's devoted to one end, and everybody in that, from the secretaries to the guys driving the delivery trucks, are devoted to one end, and that's what you're working toward every day. That's a feeling that's, that uh, you just can't duplicate any other way than being part of that team. You don't have to necessarily be the one that's out on the pointy end of that booster going up there either. <laughs>